Hey everybody, so it's time for another review. So today we're going to be talking about the Dead Space remake. Um, I know this review is a little later than usual. My reviews usually are. Um, I like to try to experience most it, most of, if not the entire game, before I give a review. I do not believe five or ten hours into a game is enough to fully judge it. Um, I do understand that longer games, like coming up, like Hogwarts Legacy, you know, five or ten hours, you can't play a whole, like, almost hundred hour game and wait to review it. But, a game like this, um, I do feel like, uh, you should play both, if not all of it, before you can review it. And now that I've fully completed it, I played through the game once, uh, and then I played through, uh, the game in Impossible Mode, and then I played through... The game, a new game plus. I have done all the trophies, all the side quests, all the collectibles, all the content the game has to offer. So uh, this will be a complete review over the game. So first of all, I gotta say I am impressed. I am happy about this remake. I do think it is a good remake. Um, probably one of the better, well, I would probably say one of the best remakes I've played over the years. Recently, we've had a string of remakes that aren't so great. Um, for instance, one that comes to mind is the Destroy All Humans 2 remake. That was not very good. Um, but this one's done well. So what I like about the Dead Space remake is that they don't necessarily change the story of it, but they add stuff to it. And what they add, I think, makes it better, not worse. So I think they kept the idea of the game, just made the horror worse the combat better and then the extra stuff they added on top so let's talk about that first i want to discuss the atmosphere now obviously they, they redid the graphics for the game um they added a lot more environments uh think environmental things like more darkness the game is way darker um even at the highest brightness settings it's still very dark um you know, the uh, steam in the air, uh, the sound of just everything around you from the necromorphs to crewmates on the Ishimura are creepy. And when they were redoing it, they increased that. So in the original, you would come across people being killed or you hear sounds in the background. You would, but in, in the remake, it is way more. There's... Almost everywhere you go, there's either someone you come across being killed or there's someone uh, you can hear in the, you know, through the ship screaming for help. It is great in that aspect. Um, so I do like the atmospheric changes to it. It is way more creepy of a game. Um, I was very impressed by that, but a lot of people do talk about that. Uh, as for the gameplay itself, they didn't... Uh, overhaul the combat they made the controls a little less stiff so it doesn't seem like an old like PlayStation 2 game I mean the game was originally released on a PS3 but the controls were kind of stiff um, so they did fix that a little bit uh, I think the most major overhaul was to the weapons some weapons got a second uh, a different secondary fire um, the weapons around seem more powerful in the original, not all the weapons were great. There were some weapons that were way better than others. And it seems like in the remake, all weapons are usable. Um, I did try them all on impossible mode, which is the hardest mode. And they all pretty much seemed effective. Um, at least their primary fire, not all the secondary, uh, not all the alternate fires are were great. For instance, I didn't think that the Ripper's alternate fire with the ricocheting blades was that great. But uh, for the most part, most weapons are useful and very good. I think you, if you can find one you like, you can use it. Um, besides that, combat changed as in now there's a new decaying system. Uh, you can tear the skin away from an enemy, the muscle and then the bone. When you get down to the uh, muscle and bone, you can use your kinesis to tear it off and then use that as a weapon. Um, I think that part is great. Uh, you still are available to, it's still available to kill a necromorph and then rip its body parts, its arms, for example, and use those as weapons against other necromorphs. Um, uh, besides those things, there wasn't like an overhaul to kinesis. There wasn't an overhaul to uh, stasis. 
Um, I think that's pretty much it for combat. Well, okay, that's not true. So let me get this uh, out of the way. I went into this thinking because of the way they described the game in um, all the press release and everything else and and uh, the short video clips they released. It does sound like they make enemies respawn through the ship because in the game you can traverse back through the ship. And you can't. And enemies will spawn. But even on... They definitely didn't seem to change this, okay? So anyone who is, hasn't played this and is worried, definitely did not seem to change this. When I played on my easy playthrough and then when I played through on uh, Impossible, there would be times I'd go back through areas and barely, enemies would, barely any enemies would spawn. And then if they did, it didn't seem to be at any higher rate or any more on Impossible than it was on easy. Um, so it's not like you'll go back through a room and, and, and every room will have two or three enemies. It's not like that. It's, uh, I don't know what algorithm they use to determine if an enemy will spawn, whether than just steam or the lights go out in a room, but whatever it is, the enemy respawns aren't massive. Um, I went into that thinking that that would be a thing you'd have to get around, but not really. Um, cause I know some people don't really like that cause in the original, you weren't able to backtrack. Because it was each chapters, but now up until chapter eleven, the end of chapter eleven, start of chapter twelve, you can go all the way back through the ship and find anything you don't, you haven't found. You can go back and do any side quest, any collectible, anything you can, you can do. Um, and you know that point of the game, you only have like an hour left of gameplay. So yeah, so even at that point, not many enemies spawn. Um, back in when you go back through rooms. So going back is not that hard of a thing to do. Um, uh, that, I think that's pretty much it for enemy and com and I'm at, Now I want to talk about the story. Now this is my favorite part. The favorite, my favorite aspect of the remake. I love the Dead Space story. I'm in it, you know, for, you know, Dead Space 1, 2, and even 3. I find it interesting. So what they did here is that the story is the same except they changed some of the dialogue they changed they added more backstory for the characters they added a few new characters into into the game and gave them a little backstory a little story you can explore um and i think that just adds to it so it doesn't it doesn't i don't you know i don't really want to talk about where it spoils it but um they don't like change the motives of characters per se. Like they don't like make someone who was good bad or someone who was bad good, but they give it more backstory. So for instance, one of the side quests is to follow Nicole's uh, journey through the ship, right? Uh, through the outbreak. Um, and that just gives us more backstory into Nicole and her relationship with Isaac. And I find that very interesting. So we get stuff like that. And then we get more, you know, backstory stuff for Daniels and Hammond. And that's kind of cool. And like I said, they add dialogue. So in the first five minutes, if you ever played the original game, the dialogue they speak as they're boarding the Ishimura is almost identical, except they add a few lines here and there. And that's cool because even in the first five minutes, they're adding stuff. And they do that through the game. And something else that interests that many people might find out is that Isaac will speak differently um, depending on how his health is. So he'll speak more ragged, uh, like out of breath when he has low health or, you know, close to danger and stuff like that. So that's interesting. And also will change thing. And I know this is a big difference is that towards the end of the game, some of your conversations with some of the characters will change uh, depending on actions you've taken through the game. So if you, for instance, do side quests related to Nicole, that will change some of the dialogue between you and Nicole towards the end of the game. Um, and then if you play New Game Plus, because a new collectible called Marker Fragments is only available in New Game Plus, if you collect those and do that side mission, your dialogue will change and how you act towards the characters will change towards the end of the game. So that's very interesting. And I didn't think it would be such a, uh, 
I didn't think there would be such a big change to it. I just went into a thing, oh, this is going to be a side mission. I didn't think it would uh, like change dialogue. And that's actually cool because it kind of changes because with that specifically, that side mission for the markers fragments, um, not only does it change the dialogue and how Isaac sounds towards characters, with the alternate ending, it, um, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but it it, it changes, it, it's like a completely different ending by, by how they're trying to make it sound and look. Um, so I do find it worth it if you are interested. If you don't want to play through New Game Plus to look up that alternate ending, because I think that's really interesting. Um... I think that's all of it for story elements. Um, so we've gone over combat, uh, atmosphere, uh, story. Um, there's not really much other to go over. I think all of it's great. Uh, as for, like, I kind of went over exploration. Like, you can go back and get stuff up to a certain point in the game, which the game does warn you about. Um, but... You know, you can go back and do this stuff. And I do find the collectibles and stuff interesting. Um, now, so with all that said, I would rate the game highly, right? I would say I give it, um, well, that's kind of hard. I don't want to sound like I don't like it as much as I, like I say, but I give it like 8 out of 10, right? I give it 8 out of 10. It's still Dead Space. You know, I think it is better than the original, but still, you know, Dead Space is not the greatest game in the world. It doesn't have the most exploration. It's not the most fantastical sci-fi horror game, you know. So I give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, very good game. Um, now, the question is, is an 8 out of 10, and is it worth it to play it more than once? I did say that the alternate ending is worth looking up, but if you're not a person... Okay, so see... Okay, look, I played through it because there's trophies related to upgrading all your gear. Now, unless you're going to use glitches to get unlimited credits, you're pretty much going to, you're going to have to at least start a new game plus to be able to get the last suit upgrade and then upgrade it because you have to upgrade all your weapons and your suit to get that trophy. So if you're not a trophy hunter... And if you're not a collectible hunter and you don't care about seeing the alternate ending for yourself and just want to look it up, I do not think New Game Plus is necessarily worth it for you. Because it's not like anything changes, right? Um, you know, you don't get anything new except for you get access to a level 6 suit. And if you beat an impossible mode, you get access to the hand cannon, which is fun. And then the, uh, and the suit unlocked for that, or what it's called. Uh, so those are cool, but is it necessarily worth playing through the game a second time just to use the hand cannon? Mm, I don't know about that, but it is great. Uh, you know, it's great for at least one playthrough. I think it took me maybe, I mean, I was streaming it, so, and I was doing everything. So it was like a 100% um, playthrough. So it probably took like 12 hours, something like that, 12, 13 hours, um, and that was with all the backtracking. But if you ran through it, especially on easier difficulty, you'll probably get it done in four or five hours. It's not that hard to, to get it done that quick. Um, but again, eight out, eight out of ten. Love the game. Uh, would recommend it. I would recommend even if you played the original. I think this is a great improvement on it. And honestly, I think the way that the story, what they add to it and change um, some of like the dialogue and things, I think it makes what happens in... Uh, like Dead Space 2 kind of make more sense. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it for the review. There's nothing really to say about it. If I miss something, I apologize. Uh, let me know down in the comments. But that's it for me. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.